In this review we're looking at two versions of the Atlas Copco Dynapack 2500 paver. NZG898 is the wheeled version of the paver and NZG899 is the tracked version. The packaging of both models is essentially the same so we'll unpack the wheeled version of the model. It comes in an Atlas Copco branded box and there's a panel on the side which has got some technical information about the real paver which is always good to see. And inside there's the usual expanded polystyrene trays and they're helpfully marked top and bottom. Lifting the lid, the model's soundly asleep, wrapped by a nice soft paper blanket. And there's nothing else to do but carefully lift it out because there's no assembly to do, the model's complete out of the box. There is one small puzzle left in the packaging and that's how to get the L shape out from underneath the canopy. And it's got the makings of a great party game, particularly if you said you were only allowed to use your nose. Talking of noses, who knows what the hell I'm rambling on about. Looking underneath the wheeled version, the tyres have a good tread pattern, and there's a material spreading screw. And the metal wheels are nicely detailed, including wheel nuts. The tracked version is identical underneath, other than of course the rubber tracks, which have ridges in the rubber. They are mounted on small track frames, which are quite detailed, given the size. At the front, the hopper sides are metal, as is the main material feed belt. The main detail differences between the models are that the wheeled version gets lights on the engine cover, and the driver gets a steering wheel. Whereas on the tracked version there are no lights and no steering wheel. The end of the screed is a nice casting with plenty of detail. And the tiny control console at each end is a really good example of small size modelling. The main work platform has got a couple of unusual black gas bottles. And there's plenty of anti-slip surfacing. Under the metal canopy the driver's console is another highly detailed part. <laughs> Time to get a paver into the cranes etc test area, so here it is on a low loader. And with a flick of the wrist and a quick shimmy it's off the truck. And the first feature to notice is that the paver folds down small for transport, so when you're on site you can lift up the roof and the exhaust pipe comes up with it. This is the wheeled version so let's give it a try and it rolls along very nicely. But the one thing it does lack is any steering, so you can go straight or you can go not at all. At the front of the paver there are pivoting rollers to engage the rear wheels of a tipper truck. And the sides of the metal hopper can be folded down or closed up to force material onto the belt. At the back end the screed is extendable. And it's got a nicely engineered telescopic arrangement. The other feature of the screed is that the whole arrangement can be raised and lowered. And it's good that the hydraulic rams that lift the screed are stiff enough to hold any pose. Another neat little feature is that the access steps into the cabin are hinged so they go up and down with the screed. To enable the driver to get a good view forward, the whole of the cabin slides out either to the left or to the right. And as there's only one control console inside, it is mounted on a rail so it can slide from side to side and be positioned in front of the appropriate seat. The features on the tracked model are the same, with the difference being the tracks. They are small and rubber, so initially they are very stiff and won't roll. But you can loosen them up a bit by using finger power, assuming you're not a hopeless weakling of course. And if you turn the tracks over a few times, then they do loosen up a bit. So if we give it another try on a smooth surface, applying plenty of downward pressure, then the tracks can be encouraged to roll. Let's now try a genuine imitation real life test and lay some asphalt. And as the paver slowly pushes the tipper along, I can actually smell the black stuff. Except it's not the asphalt, it's my bloody dinner's burning. These Atlas Copco pavers are rebranded versions of ones that were in Dynapack colours. They are nice paver models with good functionality and plenty of detailing. So if you like roadworks type equipment, these ones from NZG are highly recommended.